this is James from And this is Couch Potato Mike. We've got a real legit video this week, guys. Absolutely. We're going to be testing something that, that he, I built. That he DIY'd. Yes, uh, DIY to survive, used guys. Used guys. Which is, I've talked about, this is the reason I wanted to do these YouTube channels. Like, I don't get all hard and excited over unboxing videos, but when I build stuff, that's where it's at. So, expect some more building videos. And, Mike, if you will present me with my item, my thingy, my survival thingy. Absolutely. <laughs> right, this is... Heavy as shit. Heavy as shit. This is plate armor. Um, I could. I could run with this. It is heavy. I could cut it down to size. That's not what he made it for, though. Right. Um, this is designed, so I was thinking, body armor plates are expensive as shit. A uh, couple hundred dollars, you know, and you're paying for quality. I mean, you're paying for quality. Oh, yeah. But I think in an emergency, a should hit the fan types of emergency, you could build something that would be better than dying. Tell them what you used. Um, so this is, you can see the back, the unexposed parts. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you like some video. Well, you see, you'll see the build video. This is the shoot video. So I went to a scrap yard that I found across the street from my work. And uh, I, bought, I bought a giant metal I-beam. So with that metal I-beam, I took my angle grinder, that metal I-beam right there. Yeah, you see that big chunk missing? Yeah. That's took, in his hand now. Took a couple angle grinder discs to cut that out. And then on the front is a cut down piece of ceramic floor tile. Um, Covered with duct tape behind it, duct tape on top of it, and then Plasti Dip. Plasti Dipped over the entire thing. So, I almost used the entire can of Plasti Dip. And, uh, I don't think, I don't think we're going to punch a hole through this thing. But we're going to try like hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. We're going to wake the neighbors. Fuck them. So, let's get to shooting, guys. Alright, so, we're only going to be shooting it with, uh, with two guns. Unless Couch Tail Mike feels really frisky and then I whip out the 12 gauge. Otherwise, we're going to be shooting it with my Ruger 1022 and my Stag Arms left handed AR 15 for all you people to get freaked out by that. <laughs> oh, God. My brother Todd, he uh, he gets fucked up. He, that thing fucked him up so bad. Yeah. He, he's I, in the Army. He's used to shooting AR 15s, but not with everything on that side of it. Right. And that's the only AR-15 Mike has ever shot. So that's the only, like, he doesn't know anything different. Like, nope. that's just the way they're supposed to be. <laughs> doesn't screw me up at all. Nope. So, uh, you know what we're shooting with? Um, ammunition, nothing special, just the cheapest shit I could buy. Let's shoot some shit. Okay, get ready, folks. Because this is about to get hot and heavy. Let's start with the 22. I'm just gonna take three shots and let you take a few. Okay. Sweet. How's it doing? Uh, it looks pretty good. There you go. Yeah. Shit balls, man. <laughs> Did you? Hold on. I think you literally hit the same hole three times. <laughs> we're uh, we're cold. All right. Cold range. Now let's let's take a good look at this thing, shall we? So, James, you want to explain what happened here? Alright, well, it looks to me like the ceramic plate did his job. Um, flip it over on the back. Do hold Nothing. It yeah, hold it up. Hold it up here. No, no deformations of the plate with the 22. Obviously, um, the ceramic plate took a good hit. Uh, more covering on it could be better. Could be better. Um, 
Yeah, I can see the actual plate now in there. Yeah, so we'll try to aim for more ceramic. I will try not to hit the same hole three times this time. Yeah. So we did six shots and there's four holes? Yeah. yeah. I apparently kept shooting the same hole over and over again. Like you, I know how to count. Oh, 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 sweet Jesus. Oh, dude, we dug into it that time. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, it did it put it, I mean, it's not hardened steel. Flip it around. It's noticeable this time. Noticeable? But that did not puncture your vital organs. I mean, that's barely a dent. I mean, that's, yeah, that's just the tiniest, like, I can feel a little bump. It's like it knocked the rust off. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, final conclusion here. If you were wearing Survival Punk James's DIY body plate armor, your ass would be alive. You should have put your logo on here. I know. I used to have a spray paint logo I could. I mean... Fuck, I might just I might just take all this off and just keep shooting this plate. <laughs> well, that's my new plate to shoot at. So yeah. I don't I don't know how like the ceramic probably did a good job to break up the bullet itself. Um it, the AR-15 rounds, you know, they still hit pretty damn hard. They I'm still not, made craters. I think after that first round on this, the ceramic around where we were shooting was gone. Yeah. But still, even without it, this, I mean. The rest of the ceramic is fine. Look how thick this is. This is part of an I-beam. They build buildings out of this shit. Yeah, probably not even hardened as hard as it could be. So, uh, and I think that maybe instead of plastic dip, rhino liner would be really good for this. Um, but, but in an emergency, in a collapse society, and you don't have money now to spend on, you know, plate armor, this will keep you alive. Absolutely. So, I actually want to get our faces in this. So yeah, with the DIY body plate armor, this is James from Charlpunk.com. This is Couch Potato Mike. DIY to stay alive, you guys. You guys! I'm out. <laughs>